tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so hopefully the weather's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. No, I was agreeing with you. <laughs> I was agreeing yeah, with you. Yes, it, it is. is. It is tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but yes, we also have a chance of rain. Um, the good news is, I think for most people that are probably going to be spending some time outdoors or going somewhere, that we should be for the most part, dry during the day. In fact, we're going to be dry throughout the day today. We do have some clouds moving in, plenty of sunshine, and we are starting to see more of a filtered sun sunshine in some spots. This is our El Reno camera. You can see that filtered sun there. Part of our Lucky Star SkyCam network, we're 52 degrees. We've got a light and variable wind, and temperatures range from the low to upper 50s across the north, upper 50s, and some low 60s across the south. A low, kind of a mix of low to mid 50s here in the metro, with an east wind between about 5 to 10. But in western Oklahoma, that wind is generally coming in out of the southeast between about 10 to as much as around 20 miles an hour. But the big picture showing we've got a whole lot of changes on the way. In fact, we've got a wind advisory that was just issued for really much of the state. That's going to be in fact for tomorrow. Tomorrow. tomorrow it's going to be extremely windy. We could see gusts as high as around 45 miles an hour at time, so we're going to have to watch the fire threat. And we've also got a couple of storm systems on the way. And just for this week, we have more behind that as we get into next week. But storm number one moving in late this evening and into tonight. So for, I think, Oklahoma City, the chances will be a lot higher shortly after midnight. But just a slight chance late this evening, probably after about 9 or 10 o'clock. And then showers will increase across the state after we get past midnight with some snow possible in parts of northwestern Oklahoma. Here's the thing, we've got storm number two on the way behind that, and that looks like it's going to arrive sometime Wednesday night. And with that particular storm system, it looks like snow is going to be a lot more likely in the Panhandle, northwest Oklahoma, with storms possible in the far southeast. A very low chance that some of those storms could become severe, but there's just a moderate chance we actually get any rain at all here in Oklahoma City. Behind that, we're going to have an Arctic blast with temperatures struggling to make it out of the 30s on Thursday. So we are clearly not done with winter just yet. This weekend is looking a little bit more seasonal. Temperatures climb back into the 50s by early next week. It's looking milder with temperatures back into the 60s. But here comes storm number three. And right now, it's going to kind of drag along. So what we're talking about here is we're going to have at least a couple of chances or a couple of days. We're going to have a chance of rain on the backside of it, possibly some snow mixed in with some rain. So we have several storm systems over the next several days and lots of ups and downs. Today, considering an up, looking for a high of about 64 degrees in Oklahoma City, 61 in Ponca City, mid and upper 60s across the south. For this evening, a slight chance of rain and storms in central Oklahoma, but the chance will be higher out in the panhandle. But overnight, tonight and a two tomorrow morning. I think it's 100% guaranteed that we'll have some rain, possibly a few thunderstorms across central and eastern Oklahoma, kind of ending from west to east. And then overnight temperatures only drop down into the mid and upper 40s. Tomorrow afternoon behind that, just a very slight chance of very light rain in the northwest. And then tomorrow afternoon, even warmer. But the bigger headline for tomorrow is really going to be just how windy it will be. 68 degrees, but with a southwest wind between 25 to 45 miles an hour, you're going to notice it. It's going to be a little hard to drive. You're going to have to hold on to that steering wheel very tight. Temperatures about 70 degrees in the southwest. Here comes that next storm system on Wednesday. During the day, though, I think we're going to be dry. We're looking at partly sunny skies. It's still going to be warm. Behind it, though, starting to drop down into the low 50s for highs in the northwest with our next chance of rain and storms and moving in by Wednesday evening. But for Oklahoma City, we're talking about a 40% chance. The chance is certainly going to be a little bit higher in the southeast, but in the panhandle, it looks likely that we're going to have areas of snow. Wednesday night, that will carry on a little farther east into northwest Oklahoma, still keeping that moderate chance of rain in parts of central and eastern Oklahoma, but a lot more likely out to the east. So how much snow could we see right now? I would say that in the far northwest, we could see anywhere from a dusting to up to maybe a couple of three inches, but the farther west you go in the panhandle, anywhere from three to five inches of snow. As far as rain is concerned, I think with this particular storm system moving in tonight, no more than maybe a quarter of an inch here in Oklahoma City, higher amounts off to the east. But again, staying mild for the next couple of days, very windy as we get into tomorrow. The next chance of rain moving in by Wednesday night, but by Wednesday, night that cold front moves in and we drop down into the upper 30s for Thursday. The good news is those frigid temperatures don't last forever. We should be back into the 50s as we get into the weekend, low 60s on Sunday before that next storm moves in by early next week. But behind that particular one as well, we start to drop off in temperatures and we could see some more snow back on the forecast.